Now in the following video, notice how one sister has learned from her past mistakes and moved ahead in Jehovah's service. The feeling of guilt is so heavy. Can I ever be part of Jehovah's uh, organization and feel good? Can I, I feel clean? And because the guilt made me feel like I wasn't. I would pray to Jehovah and, and just plead with him. I would journal how I was feeling and then I would do the personal study. And when I was having a bad day, a, a real down day, I would look and, and see, oh yeah, this is how Jehovah feels. I felt a change in me when I studied about the ransom. Jesus died for everyone, even people who don't serve him. Then he, he died for me too. Feeling guilty can make you want to isolate, but I knew that was dangerous because there's no growth, there's no encouragement from anyone. Reaching out and associating with the brothers and sisters really helped me not be so self-consumed. When I was able to comment again at meetings, I started out small by saying like one word answers and then maybe a longer answer or using a scripture. It gave me something to be proud of. Going in the ministry really helped me because I was talking about the wonderful hope of the future that Jehovah gives and it was building my faith along with helping others. When you help others, it makes you happy. When I look back uh, from where I was, feeling so guilty to where I am now, I really see the wisdom in Jehovah and His discipline. And it, it makes me feel proud. I'm very happy. Sherry Combs there, feeling very happy and hopefully less guilty these days, <laughs> having received a good old dose of discipline from Jehovah's Organization. So this is a video that gets shown as part of the Saturday Afternoon Symposium, Use the Good News to Defeat Bad News. This particular part is titled A Troubled Conscience. The speaker that we saw at the beginning was Marcus West, who is a Bethelite from Woolkill. And yet they're showing this video again missing the point, I feel, <laughs> and showing a lack of self-awareness, because what I'm picking up from this video is that life as a Jehovah's Witness will in many cases entail crushing guilt, which is what Sherry seems to be describing here. She's been through this process of discipline for some kind of wrongdoing that is unspecified, and she's describing going through quite a traumatic phase in her life. How is this supposed to make being a Jehovah's Witness something that's appealing? If you're sat in the convention audience as a newcomer, and this is your first experience of Jehovah's Witnesses, the resounding message from this particular video is, brace yourself for feelings of crushing guilt and lack of self-worth. <laughs> 